I've grown to know him as a nephew and an upcoming business partner in many senses. Because of the impressive nature of the homes he has in the Roman Ridge area that I saw, he got close to me, we became friends. I've had the opportunity to work with him. I've had the opportunity to be his friend and to be his colleague in so many different ways. He's a very dynamic character. He has a lot of energy, a lot of focus, a lot of drive, and he sets out to achieve what he means to do. Behind every vision, there is an imagination. Imagine a new Africa, a continent of opportunities. Welcome to the new Africa, Petronius City. At the heart of Ghana's oil-rich western region is a 2,000-acre master-planned city. Within Petronius City is Africa's first energy city, a free zone enclave, manufacturing hub, the oil and gas university, a golf village with an 18-hole world-class golf course, and more. Explore more. Visit PetroniusCity.com. Petronius City, building the new Africa. When I see the output of Nana's business and what he's doing, I can see that he's been very good at being a doer of what we've been teaching. What attracts me to him the most is his vision. Nana's making a great impact on the Accra skyline with the developments that he's doing. Um, we're now seeing Kuala's at airport, which is a very big match if not a greater match for what we already see in that area. For a young man of his age to have been able to do such a thing, I would say that he is a good business person. He has projects coming up in cantonments that are very exciting. Where he doesn't know what to do, he would say, Bishop, I want to pray. What I admire about him most, it's first his tenacity, um, second his courage. Uh, Nana wouldn't give up. He will keep pushing and then keep going against all odds and against all kinds of opposition. It's a great thing when you're rewarded for what you've done. You know, people think that you become successful by chance. No, you become successful by change. And some of us really changed. We wanted to change not only for ourselves, but also for our people, for the country. You know, I have come across a fortune, but not for myself, because I always believed that I would be able to do something to change and impact society. We should actually help to change our generation within the moment of time that we have. I'd like to dedicate this award to all the dead souls that recently we had in Ghana, it was a national tragedy. You know, I get worried about these people because they're dead. But I just want your soul to hear me speak that there's going to be a better tomorrow. Your grandchildren and your children will have somewhere to stay. We will work so hard that no goddess will flood our country anymore. No fight. How did it feel to win tonight? Um, well, first of all, I must say it's a very special moment for me. Um, the recognition is enormous. And um, for me to be in Ghana and for people over here to be looking out for people like us and, you know, following us to see what we do, that tells me that we're becoming global. And um, it's empowering me. It's inspiring me. It's motivating me.